do you want to do this on controller? In this video, I'll be teaching you how to build like a PC player on controller. Well, you guys are subscribed so we can get to 200 by the end of this week. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. What you'll need for this video includes a Bluetooth PS4 controller. I suggest the PS4 one because I haven't tested an Xbox one yet. But for the clicking method we'll be using, a PS4 one is probably best. Next thing you'll be needing is specifically a Android device. This is because iOS does not work at all. Controller is not really well supported on that. And I'll be showing you a clip of Android vs uh, iOS on controller to, so you can see what it's like. So let's get right into it. This short video of a hand cam on me on iPad. You'll see a huge CPS difference from iPad to Android. So this is iPad right here. I'm unsure why it doesn't work as well on iPad. I'm assuming it's a Roblox thing maybe. But here's it on Android. As you can see, it's way faster. This is the clicking method here. You, you can see it's the exact same in the video. And it's just way faster. So, yeah, if you really want to get good on controller, I really recommend an Android device over an Apple one. The question you've all been asking, how? Controller is way easier than it seems. To get this high CPS, all you have to do is lightly hold down your RT or your R2 button, and it will do it instantly for you. This is insanely useful, your finger doesn't get tired. And it's just way easier than having the butterfly or drag or scroll even. All you have to do is rush your finger there and it'll do it itself. I'm really used to controller. It might take you some time to get used to. But this is why I chose to play on controller. Now I'll be doing uh, PvP tips and tricks for controller in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and peace.